Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Here with me this week is my beautiful mother, Trina Hall. Hi. So the holiday season can definitely be a stressful time and it also has a lot of fun, exciting things. Like you see your family, you get to open presents, all that fun stuff, you get to be with your loved ones. But sometimes we definitely miss our loved ones that have passed on the other side. And we wonder if they're here with us during the special time. And the answer is yes, they are here with you too. 100%. And in yes. And in today's video, we'll be sharing with you a story that will prove just that. So make sure you continue watching. But first, hi, my name is Jasmine and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are into the supernatural, spiritual growth and energy healing, this is definitely the perfect channel for you. So make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you wanna get notified when I upload my next video and continue watching. Wow, what a day. So it's December 13th. Yes. So, the day we're filming and the day you're seeing this video is December 13th. Yeah, so 21 years ago, my mom passed away of colon cancer and I looked after her for 15 months because she didn't want to like die in a hospital. So I basically looked after her. And so today is the anniversary of her death. So I'm sure many of you, there's, it seems to be a popular time, I think around Christmas time that people kind of lose their loved ones. I don't know why. They kind of pass away around Christmas time, but maybe because they know that you have your family and friends with you, so it helps with. The, they know you're not alone. Maybe right? Yeah. If it's going into the that, that's just my mm -hmm. thoughts. And it's also just hard too because it might be like the first Christmas without your loved yeah. one, or you you just wish that they were there. So, mm -hmm. um, I find this story of all the stories we have. Yeah. I think this one is my favorite story or the one that helps the most amount of people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been published in an Australian magazine and stuff because it was picked up from someone. They kind of liked it and some people use the story as a speaker in New York City. They asked to use that story. So I guess it's helped people around the world without mm -hmm. even realizing it. So hopefully it will help you too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm kind of out of it. it like anyone who knows, it's still a sad day. So anyone who's lost like a parent or any loved one, and even though it's 21 years and thinks you should be over it by now, mm -hmm. you can't. Like it's your mom, it's your loved one. It doesn't matter what time, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not like, oh, well, it's been over 20 years, so you should be fine by now. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're still grieving, still grieve. You mm -hmm. can't, no one could judge what's in your heart. So my mom passed away December 13th, so 12-13, at 12-13, so 13 minutes after midnight. Yeah. And her organs shut down, so I knew it was a matter of time. And um, a nurse finally showed up. There was a snowstorm and then, like, flashed a light into her eyes and said, oh, she only has a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I got to make this count. It's like a couple minutes. What do I say? Like... Mm -hmm. so uh during the 15 months my mom would ask me like Trina are there beaches in heaven and stuff and of course I'm like of course there's beaches in heaven and just trying to like put a good picture in her mind about what heaven would be like and that her mom would be there and all this stuff and like Jasmine was saying my mom couldn't really walk the last few months and like Jasmine and I would both need to assist her to go to the bathroom Mm -hmm. Um, so what happened was when I had a couple of minutes, I thought, oh, let me just put positive thoughts into her. I'm like, okay, mom, you go with God, you get, and you get better. Uh, your mom's going to be there waiting for you, um, and waiting for you to go for a walk. You two go walk on the beach until you can't walk anymore. And when you're finished walking, you make sure you come back and show me that you're okay because you know that your mom has done that to me before. And then I said, I love you enough to let you go. And then I started bawling. And I know that that's when she passed away. So basically, like, go with God, get better. Your mom's going to be there. Go walk on the beach until you can't walk anymore. And then come back and show me you're okay. And I love you enough to let you go. So that's exactly word for word what I was saying. And then 
I'm thinking, how am I going to tell you that your bubby passed away? You have school. So I thought, I'll just let you go to school and I'll tell you afterwards, mm-hmm. like after school. But when I went to wake you up, that's when you're, you're yeah, like... Yeah, <laughs> so my version, like, so I'm sleeping, obviously, when all of this is happening. And all of a sudden, Bubby pops up in my dream. Just like she's, like, saying hi, just like how you would to somebody on the street. She just, like, popped up and was like, hi, and smiling at me. And I thought it was so real that I woke up. And when I woke up, she wasn't there anymore. So I went back to sleep. And then immediately when I went back to sleep, she came back up into my dream. And we went to... But what was said was when I woke you up, you said, Mom, I had the strangest dream. Bubby wanted to go for a walk with me. Yeah. So like just you saying that in itself, I was like, what? She wanted to go for a walk with you? Like my mom didn't wait that much time no so she wanted to go for a walk with me so we went to walk on a beach and the first thing I noticed was she wasn't holding my hand and a lot of the time like when we would go to the washroom and stuff like I would have to hold her hand to help her like go to the bathroom so she wasn't holding my hand we were playing we were splashing in the water playing in the sand and she didn't need my help with any of it so I knew that she is better And then after we were done playing on the beach, we ended up going to the most beautiful park that I've ever seen in my life. So like, do you know that like the metal part of the swing set or something like when you're on the swing? So instead of it being the chains, it was flowers and the seat was flowers. And the flowers that I saw at this beautiful park were roses and purple tulips and sunflowers. And the, the, the swing that I was on was like made out of flowers. So I thought it was so pretty. So when I went on the slide, same thing, flowers, there was no metal, no nothing. It was just like, like flowers. And it was just so nice. I didn't want to leave this beautiful park. And eventually we came back down to, um, where we lived at the time. So it was in an apartment and she lived in the same like apartment, just like a different level and we were watching my papa so my grandpa and outside of the windowsill and we were just like floating watching him and we were looking at my papa I looked back at Bubby and she was just watching my papa and so I looked back at him and when I went to go look back at Bubby she wasn't there anymore and I don't remember what happened after that I just you know woke up to go to school the next day and that's when I told mom that, um, what she said. Mm-hmm. So what's kind of neat about that was like when you were seeing Papa, he was eating, uh, and watching TV. And when I asked at that time, like what he was doing at that time, he mm-hmm. was eating and watching TV and stuff. So I don't know if you guys know about this, but it's called astral travel. So that's what you were doing like you just kind of leave your mm-hmm. your soul leaves your body and you're able to travel mm-hmm. so the beautiful part about it was is I told my mom to come back and show me she was okay yeah but she did it in a much better way as opposed to coming to me she went to you so mm-hmm. you were the one saying mom she's all better she's walking all by herself Bubby's not even holding my hand she's walking all by herself yeah. so when she was you first saw her you were telling me that She's not holding her hand. Like normally a grandmother could lovingly hold their granddaughter's hand, Mm -hmm. but she purposely didn't hold your hand to show, hey, I don't even need your help to go to the bathroom Mm -hmm. anymore. And then you were telling me, right, (laughs) that my mom's okay. Yeah. Like, I just think that's absolutely amazing. And then you said that at the funeral too. Mm -hmm. So it kind of comforted a lot of people. Yeah. And I think like my mom's right. Bubby did it in the most beautiful way because... As a six-year-old turning seven, losing some... Like, you don't process it the same way. Um, You don't really know, like, kind of, like, what death is. But I knew that when you cross on, when you die, that, yes, your body isn't there anymore, but your soul remains. I I I always felt comforted by that. Mm -hmm. And I've never been afraid of dying, like, like being dead. But, like, you know, the dying process is... Mm -hmm 
scary, but like I always know that there is something else on the other side. And Bubby taught me that. Because mm-hmm. we're all energy. Mm-hmm. So if you lost a loved one or missing a loved one this holiday season, mm-hmm. hopefully our story finds some kind of comfort or at least you know you're not alone, right? There's a lot mm-hmm. of us that are missing our loved ones, but you know you know that they're with us. Light a candle, think of them, talk to them. Yeah. That's what I do. Well, I know. Well, <laughs> it's a rough day for me today. <laughs> yeah, it is a rough day. I think my mom needs a big hug. Oh. I don't want you doing all these depressing videos, man. I'm not going to. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I love you too. But with that being said, you don't have to look at it as a depressing it's way. Like not, our loved no, ones no, are no. all around us and they're rooting for us during these special moments, these holiday seasons. It can feel sad, but just feel comfort in knowing that they are celebrating with us. They are with you and they just want the best for you and they want you to be okay and to not be so caught up in the grieving process because they love you too and they want the best for you. Think about the happy times and happy memories and keep those memories alive to your loved ones too because maybe you know if your parents passed away maybe your own children don't really remember them that much so keep the memories alive. Yeah. You know to share stories. Mm Mm-hmm. Focus on on the fun times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we love you and hope you have a great Monday. Yes. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload my next video. And remember, do all things with love (laughs) and kindness. Bye. And we love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.